Hey guys, Schubert's here, and let me hide this real quick. And welcome to the game I thought I'd never be playing in this long. Well, at least, I never expected myself to actually play this game. But here I am, welcome to the Witch's Hut. Okay, I've heard really good things about this game, and Mark played it, so... He said it was decently scary, you know, in his Let's Play. I'm not, like, in contact with this game, but... You know I like RPGs, also that I'm not clicked into the window. Wow, I like this music. Alright, let's get in. Where? What? I'm just, this is everyday life for me. Huh? Where am I? Like, just waking up in a flower, flower field, not a flower field, jeez. Dot dot dot's house. Out of the forest. Black cat. You're up! Uh, and at, uh, eh. What? This, the way that, wait, the way is blocked by a starting, startling huge patch of roses. What is over here, though? Found something sharp and rusty. Take it, you got a machete. Okay. Nope. Okay. Age, I don't know why I need to know her age, but Viola? It's a name. So I'm guessing there is no other way. Um, never played one of these RPG Maker games. The way it's cleared. The machete broke! Alright. supposed to read this mind if you go to her house but just don't just stay away from the forest hope to see you soon dad so am I at like my aunt well shoot Are you kidding me? Is there a save mechanic in game? Blah blah blah. Sorry for making you go through this, guys. There. But, so... So I can only save when I see the cat, or when I'm by a stump. When I see the cat. Okay. Okay, I don't know what. Maybe we speak with the cat? Huh? What is that? Huh. So the way out is blocked up by roses? You gonna go in? Might as well, if you can't leave. Fine. Okay. 
come to my room. Shout. Continue. Well, crap. I'm sorry, I'm bad at this game. Got it. Avoid the blood stain on the thing. Come to my room. Yo! Decided I'd follow you for laughs. Accident. Ex incidentally, where the heck you come from? Vase of roses. Or vase. Vase of roses. Huh? It won't open. Large clock, time marches on. It says open when the room, when the house returns to normal. Read, I was sick, so no one played with me. My father and my mother didn't love me. Saving is one. What does the cat think of this? A vase of roses. A large clock. Time marches on. The teddy bear rests in the pile of presents. You got a teddy bear. I think I know where to put this. Put in basket. It limps. His limbs make it too big to fit. Artificial flowers adorn the desk. Dang it. 
There's gotta be something in this room to do. And now that I see like a big open room with nothing in it but like one object, I think I'm gonna get squished now. Okay, so what now? Bears in a basket. Oh, that's not a good thing. Whenever you can sprint in a game, you know you don't want to use that mechanic. Sway curiously. Oh, I didn't see that. There are a pair of sisters on the workbench. Take you, they're chained to the workbench. Could I have to tell you, Sarah Lance? You cut off the teddy bear's limbs. Dusty old dresser. It's locked. Ah, parties. Glad it's locked. I kind of used up all my save files already, huh? Shut up, phone. Uh huh, whatever. After the teddy bear. Hearing an unlocking noise somewhere. Funny game. Obviously that opposite room, so a red chair fixed to the floor. Jeez, you freak me out. Don't come out of nowhere like that. Sorry. I'm gonna read this first. The cook is busy. Lend a hand. The sink bugs wriggling around the 
rusty faucet. There's someone invisible there. Talk. Uh, I'm busy. So busy. Oh, thank you. The invisible person grabs your arm. Put your wrist down onto the cutting board. A hand isn't exactly what I needed. Okay, don't lend the cook a hand. Oh, the hand is a... a it literally meant lend a hand. A fireplace, look inside. This is a bad idea. Nothing but soot. Oh, I was hoping for like her head to come out all soot covered. Taste poison. Are they all fixed to the floor? Strangely colored soup in a skull shaped bowl. Drink it. Really? Drink! Dang it. <laughs> Don't drink the poison. Okay, so I have an idea of what I had to do. Drink, really? Dark outside, as far as the eye can see. You got the teddy bear's limbs. I knocked over a face. Oh, son of a... Please don't. Please don't bring that bear back. A book titled Dining of Aristocrats. People of ruling and wealthy classes have long enjoyed dining with silverware. By such hard to clean cutlery, they hire servants to demonstrate their wealth. In addition, silvery, silver utensils change color upon contact with poison, making them quite useful. Lined with tableware glass and stuff, but nothing particularly eye catching. My lo I, I learned my lesson last time is not messed with the poison. Alright, well. 
I think I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. Wow, this game is fun. Um, it definitely got me. This is a lot scarier than it looks, so don't just write off a game if it's a horror RPG. Because they're pretty decent at scaring people. Especially me, that giant teddy bear. Son of a piece of... You know what I mean. You know what I mean. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye! Fun, fun, fun. Teddy bears are evil.